Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. This is my first guide video and my first video for Harvestella. A quick disclaimer, there will be no story spoilers in the game. There will, however, be clips showing different locations and party members you will eventually acquire. I have been really enjoying the game, and hopefully if you clicked this video, you're enjoying it as well. Really eager and excited to build a community, so if you'd like to see more content, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Also, consider following me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash nataliepresidente, where I stream on weekends. Link for socials in the description. Without further ado, let's get on with the guide. For quick and easy money early game, as well as a way to kill time in-game toward the end of each day, get the fishing book from the Left Village shop. This can be purchased for 800 Gria, and you will earn the money back very easily. You can dedicate an entire day to just catching fish to get a couple thousand Gria as long as you have the stamina in-game. Just cast your line, keep your hand on the controller, wait for it to vibrate, and press A. I find it much easier to wait for the vibration rather than the visual cues, but that could just be personal preference. Thankfully, the fishing mechanic in this game is pretty forgiving as long as you don't press A too soon. Oftentimes, I'll just set my controller in my hand, press the A button, wait for the vibration, and in my other hand, I'll check my phone um, or watch YouTube videos. It's very quick and easy. The second great use for fishing is when you're done with your tasks for the day and there's not enough time to dungeon crawl, but you don't want to go to bed before midnight. There is even a fishing spot in most towns I have seen, so you can work back home right before midnight. Purchase the kitchen as quickly as possible. You're going to need the food for stamina and healing if you plan on engaging in combat, working the farm, or even fishing. Food is a lot more expensive to purchase than it is to make. While on the subject of food, do not cook food just to sell. In a lot of farm sim and life sim games, you get an increased sell cost for taking the time to make meals, but at this time in Harvestella, you get the same amount of money for food as you would for each individual ingredient, so you'll be wasting precious time each day if you cook the food just to sell it. Once you have access to the other cities, be aware that the prices for the same crop seeds can vary by city. I would suggest saving the game, travel to each shop in each city. When you are there, take a screenshot of the seeds inventory and then load your save. Now you can go back to the screenshots on your Switch or PC to tell which shop has the best price for the seeds you want and you didn't lose any time getting this information. Once you have your funds in a good spot, purchase the Cluffle and Woolen pens as soon as you are able. You will need to keep feed in the pens for your animals and pet them each day. After enough time goes by, you will get eggs from the Cluffle and milk from the Woolen, which can be used for cooking or sold. If you pet the animals each day, they will eventually start dropping items strictly meant for selling, so they are an investment that will quickly pay for themselves. Once you obtain the recipe, craft feeders for your farm. Once you have the feeders crafted, do not purchase feed as it is much more expensive than it is to make it yourself. You get four pieces of feed for the cluffle for each wheat used in the feeder, and four pieces of feed for each grass you use in the feeder for the woolen. I would start with at least two feeders to quickly build stock of food for your animals. You can use other crops to make feed, however all crops result in the same amount of feed as wheat and grass, only they cost more to purchase from the shop. I would use wheat and grass for animal feed and the other crops for either selling or cooking. While on the subject of grass, grass can be used as a cheap substitute for food, especially if you're needing just a little stamina at the end of the day. Unlike most forageable food in the wild, instead of 5 points for food, it gives 10 points. You will eventually get the option to expand your farm, however I would wait to expand until you notice your farm is being full of crops. Early game, your money is strapped for several upgrades so you may not even have enough to fill your farm. No reason to start expanding your farm until you are regularly using the space that you have. Pretty early in the game you'll get recipes for return bells, repair kits, and bombs. I would make sure that before going out to any dungeon you have at least 3-4 to four with you at all times. This will save you a lot of back and forth to your home to craft items. I would get in the habit of saving the game at the start of each day and at the beginning of each dungeon. This way, if things go south for you, you have the option to reload. This could be monsters killing you or staying out too late. If you lose all your HP or stay out too much past midnight, you will wake up in your room at noon instead of 6am the following day. This will set you back 6 hours as well as cost you money from the doctor saving you. This is why it's super important to save and to carry those return bells. 
be sure to make the most of each day. I would use your entire day right up until it's midnight and then use either a return bell or a work point to get home quick. You can fish or craft to utilize the last part of your day before midnight rather than exploring dungeons or advancing the story. When you're going out to explore combat dungeons, be sure to have both food and drinks available. Once your hunger meter is full, you'll be unable to eat more. For instance, if your hunger meter is at plus 90 and you have a food item that will increase your hunger meter plus 25, you'll be unable to eat it. However, if you have a drink with you, you can still use the beverage to heal, despite how full your hunger is. Your food meter will fully reset when you go to sleep, so be careful not to waste your food items right before going to sleep. Always forage around your farm and in any map you are in. Even if you do not need the materials now, they will likely come in handy later. Be wary of selling your crafting items. You may need them. Keep a good supply of crafting and food items in your storage. If an item says it will make money if you ship it, then those are good to sell right away. In the beginning of the game, it may be advantageous to sell a lot of stuff just to get a good stock of funds. As the game goes on, you will want to keep your crafting and food items separate in your storage and not sell them. At the end of every month is a season called Quietus. It lasts one day and all of your crops will die. You can't explore and if you go to town, all shops and homes will be closed. At first, it may seem like you should go straight to sleep. However, there is a secret dungeon that is only accessible during Quietus called Caranoid. I'll be releasing a full video on Caranoid, but for this video, you'll want to go up to the old well at the back of your farm, go through the dialogue, and enter the Quietus dungeon. Be sure before you enter that you bring plenty of food, drinks, and a return bell, and save. The dungeon is basically randomly generated and filled with lots of monsters and treasures. It's great for loot and EXP, just be sure to leave either before losing all your HP or before midnight as time does still move in the same progression in this dungeon as it does in the rest of the game. There are my beginner tips for Harvestella. I really hope this video helped you. If there's anything you have questions on in the game, sound off in the comments below and I'll make a follow-up video. If you enjoyed the content or found it helpful, a like and subscribe would be appreciated, and it's free! I plan on making an in-depth guide for farming, combat, the quietest dungeon, and time-saving tips, so turn on the bell to make sure you're notified when these drop. Thanks again for watching, until next time, bye!